will be a nice kind of like easy fun starter project to do. Uh, we'll be using Autodesk Sketchbook on your iPad. Let me just kind of like, uh, obviously I can't point to it right now, but it's on my bottom taskbar. It's the one that has a pencil with an orange background. I'm sure a good chunk of you have already used it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Um, it'll open whatever prior project that you had been working on before. So you, you can make sure that you save that in a second or not. Um, you'll see here that I just have a white square, which is actually what we're going to be working on in just a little bit, but I'm going to show you how to create a new project. Um, FYI, I'm working horizontally right now. I have my iPad like long ways or landscape format. I think that gives you a little bit more retail space to work in, um, up to you. Uh, whether you want to hold it tall or long ways, but just you, I have an extended menu at the top of my screen when I am uh, holding mine long ways. Speaking of the top section of your um, toolbar, the very, very top left icon is kind of like a bulleted list. If you click that, you'll see that it gives you a four panel menu between your gallery, new sketch, share, preferences. Um, I'm going to quickly showcase you some of my stickers in my gallery. Don't, this is just to watch. Later on, we're gonna hit new sketch to create our file. So if I go to my gallery, something else in the gallery to hint at um, is organization. If I click this top button where it says stickers, I also have examples of like other projects that we're gonna be getting to in a little bit. Um, down the road, there is going to be a second sketchbook project uh, coming up later, far later into the year. So I have kind of like, I've made categories here. Um, you can do so by this plus sign in the very top right of your screen. If you want to, you can figure that out on your own. Um, if not, you can ask me individually. It's not a requirement, it's just a nice thing if you wanna organize. Here are, uh, all, well, this one here is, uh, there's a cat in here that's a temporary cat, not a, not a final sticker, but there there are 10 other stickers here that are already pre-made. We're gonna be making a new one, an 11th one, right now live with you guys. Um, but the, this should give you a little bit of a preview of what they might look like. So let's go ahead and um, we'll just open up this one right here for now, click on it. Um, and you can kind of see the process. So you will have an outline like I did right here drawing, and then you will color it in like this on a separate layer. And then adding a little bit of kind of like a glow or color outline there. Um, aesthetically, that way all of our stickers kind of like form a really, really cool set. And then B, it's a little easier to cut out when you're done as well. So that way the sticker won't be a square. The sticker will form to the shape of your design. All right, enough. Top left icon once again, that four panel window. I'm gonna hit new sketch up there. Uh, and then it'll say your width and height. That's your W and H. You'll see that mine right now is 500 by 500, and that's the exact size we want this uh, sticker to be. However, to the right of the W and H, there is a little chain link icon. If that link is together, when I go ahead and edit one, let's say I wanna make the width 600, you'll notice the height also changed. That's because that link was linked together. If you click on it once, it'll separate. And then I can actually go in and change the width to 500 and you'll see the height stay the same. I recommend that you always leave that unlinked because that way you can edit both the width and height individually. So get the width to 500, get the height to 500. And then in the bottom there where it says create, you can go ahead and hit create. If you're working on something really important and you want to save it, now's your time to do save current sketch. You can save it in a copy or you could discard it. I didn't really make any changes to this. I want to keep, so I'm going to hit discard. You'll end up with a white square. If you're for any reason looking at a rectangle shape right now, you've done something wrong in the size that is super important, uh, not only to having a good sticker, but also for your grade. Um, so go back, redo it 500 by 500. On the right side of sketchbook are your layers. We only have one layer right now, um, which is fine. We'll get more into that in a little bit um, as we import an image. So actually let's go into that first. Top toolbar, you're looking for an icon that looks like two mountains with a plus sign. In this video, I can't point at it, unfortunately. So live in class, if you're getting this demo in class, you'll uh, be able to see me like frantically pointing at it on a projector. Um, but I'm going to go ahead again in the top toolbar, two mountains with a plus sign. You click that, 
that will take you to your photo album. And here we've researched already some uh, images that we can use as references. You'll see all of mine here that I found to outline your sticker. That way you don't have to draw from scratch. Unless you want to, then feel free, be my guest. I want an octopus for this sticker. So I already have these octopus uh, or octopi photo in the top left. I'm gonna click that. I obviously don't want all of them. I think I want the bottom right one. So I'm going to pinch and pull to make it pretty big. You almost want it to fill the rectangle. Leave a little bit of room for text at the end. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do text, but it will not be a requirement. Mine will have it though. So I'm gonna leave it right. Um, I'm going to show you something else too as an alternative step if your photo and not Let's speak about that real quick to get the outline ready. I'm gonna tell you what tool that I uh, recommend or require, I guess, that you guys use, and also color. The tool that I want you to use is located on the left. It's the one I just selected, fourth one down from the default top. It's called Technical Pen. I clicked on it again here to look at its settings. Um, if you have moved some tools around, just go ahead and find it. Um, Again, it's called Technical Pen is the one that you're looking for. If you look in your library, it's under the basic category right there. In settings, just make sure the opacity is 100%. The size of your outline is pretty important. Try to get it around three. We'll make a good, noticeable, but not too thick of an outline. Lastly, your color. This window right here that I'm moving around is called the Double Puck in uh, sketchbook it has the information on the top of your pen on the bottom it has a color wheel if this is not shown for any reason you'll see this little half circle thing in the bottom center of your screen that if you click it brings up these five options the one that looks like a two light traffic light if you click that oh it just hid my dub double puck but if yours isn't shown and you click on it it will uh, make it appear Go ahead and click on it, and then um, around the sides, you can change the colors, but we just want black, so use the center diamond, lower it down, and get a solid black. Now, if I zoom in by pinching and pulling, I can get a really cool, good, crisp outline of this octopus by literally just tracing it. A, um, last little bit additional information not required. Let me undo this. I like this but you don't have to use it, is this thing called predictive stroke. It is in the top toolbar. It is the one that I have selected right now with blue. There's different levels. I think two to three is preferred. It just kind of ups its strength. What predictive stroke does is while you're drawing, if your line's a little jaggedy or messy, if you unclick, it kind of smooths the line out for you automatically. 
which can be a really nice feature. Sometimes though, for some drawings, it smooths it out too much. 